Welcome back to the seventh part in this series. In this one, we're going to carry on with the to-do list again, and one of the last sort of bits of the Angular front end before I can then start on with the API integration uh, with the Django REST framework is going to be uh, I want to add a remove button. So this is going to be the ability for the user to delete one of the to-dos that they've previously had on their to-do list, uh, and they do that by sort of marking a checkbox, marking it as done. Uh, and then they can press a button and then that will be removed from the to-do list. So that's actually quite a simple thing to add, so I'm going to do that in this video. Uh, the first thing that I need to do is I want to add a new button. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to put it in paragraph tag here and it's going to be a button and I'm going to give it... I'm not actually going to give it a type or a name but I am going to give it an ng uh, click and that's going to be equal to remove. So this is going to be a function that we're going to define in the JavaScript as well, a bit like to do add. Um, and here I'm just going to say uh, done. So this is going to uh, be our sort of done button to make sure that the task uh, is checked off the to-do list and as a result we can remove it from that list uh, or it will appear uh, or at least it will appear to the user as if we have removed it from the list where in actuality we're probably going to delete the list and then recreate the ones without that given item but I'll get to that in a minute so once we've done that I'm going to close that off and if I refresh now we should have a button so at the moment we've got a done button the other thing that I need to add in the template is going to be the checkbox. So that's next to the span. If we put an input here, uh, that's going to be useful for us to be able to say, uh, you know, whether the item's done or not. So I can say uh, I want it as a. So it's going to have a type called checkbox. That's going to give it its well check checkbox characteristic in HTML and. I'm going to also give it an ng model, and this is going to link it to the uh, data with which it's going to sort of be linked to in the Angular uh, JavaScript, and that's going to be to do dot done. So it's going to be uh, on each of these to do items, much like to do text uh, within the to do list, and it's going to be an attribute called done. So that in itself is going to be something else that we need to add into the JavaScript. Uh, but first I'm just going to refresh just check, just to make sure that we've got that checkbox and it functions as we'd expect it to. So at the moment this won't do anything. If I press done then it doesn't disappear. Uh, but I can still add a new one like we had in the last video. That new one also has a checkbox but again it won't do anything just yet because we haven't hooked up that sort of functionality. So going to the JavaScript, I think we've done mostly what we need to in the template. I'm going to add a new thing to the scope called remove. To, cut, to sort of align with what I, what I said in the template. And this is also going to be a function, so a bit like we've got up here, and I'm going to do something sort of similar, except that uh, this was adding to the to-do list, uh, and removing, we want to do it slightly differently. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do, remember scope.todo list is our current to-do list uh, in whatever state that's in, so at the moment it's got these two items in it. and what I want to do is I want to actually store that in a variable, so let's call this the old list, or in other words the current list at the moment, uh, that's what it's going to be equal to. Uh, so scope.todo list. And that gives us the ability to know what it used to be, so that we can add the items back into the list, into a new list, if they are not already done. So that's going to be the way that we remove the ones that we've actually marked as done, uh, instead of sort of trying to change the existing list, if you like. So to do that, I want to get a new list, which I'm going to define as uh, scope.todo list. So I, well, I can just use the. To do that, I'm going to redefine todo list now as an empty list. So scope.todo list. Uh, is equal to uh, just an empty list and what I can then do is I can do angular dot for each so for each item in this list which is called old list 
uh, I want to do something else. I want to call a function. So for each item in this list, I want to call this corresponding function. Uh, and I'm going to just pass it x, for example. It doesn't really matter what we call this because I'm not going to use it too much. But x is just the item in the list uh, for the given iteration. Uh, so on the first sort of run through, it's going to be the first uh, item in the list. So quite simply, I'm just going to say if it's not done, exclamation mark x dot done, then I'm going to do uh, scope dot to do list dot push, and then I'm going to push that back in to the to do list, which is at the moment empty. So it takes the old list, it's going to empty that list now that we've stored it somewhere else and then it's going to repopulate this list with only the ones that haven't been done yet. Uh, so that should give us the fun functionality that we're looking for. Uh, so let's just go ahead and test this out. I'm going to add just a few so we have a few to check off. I can check off a couple like this and then if I press done it doesn't actually do anything. So if we go back here, I think I also need to add, so if we look back in the template, you can see that we added a to do dot done. Uh, and this is uh, sort of the data that is linked with this input element. But at the moment, this data isn't really being handled in the JavaScript because although we've got uh, to do dot done, in fact, we haven't got to do dot done anywhere in this JavaScript. So it doesn't really know what to do dot done is so we should add it to this to do list as the as part of the original data structure and I'm going to say to do uh, sorry not to do I'm going to say done is false um, and that's going to set the default value for this check mark for the default data here and I'm going to do the same thing in the next list down as well uh, so that we can set so when we add new item, the default is also going to be false. So let's try that now. If I add a couple of items, you can see the defaults are still false. So this time when we click done, it should disappear. Now that that's working then, I should be able to, in the next one, start to look at getting the backend API uh, sort of ready for this Angular front end to be able to integrate into.